Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ed with edhart.me and in this SketchUp snippet, I'm going to show you how to use hidden geometry. Now this is a really cool and useful feature in SketchUp. I use it all the time when I'm creating and editing models and it's something that you might have to kind of play around with the program a little bit before you stumble across it and learn how to use it effectively. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. I've got this farmhouse table plan and if you'd like to download this same plan and work on it, you can access it by going over to my site edhart.me and searching for farmhouse table plans. So let's say that I want to work on an area underneath this tabletop. I want to do some editing suppose. Now what I can do is group all of the component pieces of this tabletop together. So I'm just holding my shift key down and selecting all of the parts, the 2x8s on the end and the 2x6s on the top. And I'm going to right click and select make group. And now I could either move it out of the way by grabbing the move tool and maybe moving it up and down. But let me just command Z and put that back. But let's say I've got it positioned just right and I don't really want to move it. So I think I ungrouped all my stuff too. Let me put it back together right quick here. Great. So let's say I don't want to move it out of the way and I would just like to hide it. That's easy to do. All I have to do is either go up to the edit menu and select hide or I can just right click on the group and select hide there as well. Now the tabletops disappeared and I can access all of the component pieces up underneath just as if it wasn't there. Now when I get finished with the work that I want to do and I want to be able to view the tabletop, I can just go back up to edit excuse me, uh, back up to view and select view hidden geometry. And whoa, check it out. There's now eight chairs along with my tabletop that's been hidden in this model. So you always want to check your models when you download them that, and see whether there are hidden things out there that you may need to work with. But to view hidden geometry, you just select. And when you're viewing these things, you can um, select them and move them just like you would if they were fully visible. But I'm going to select my tabletop. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select unhide. So there we are. I can go back up to view and if I don't want to see those chairs anymore, I can uncheck hidden geometry and we are right back to where we started. That's hidden geometry. I hope you found that helpful. And if you want to access this model or see a bunch of other cool projects and project plans, head on over to my website edhart.me and check it out.